The following footage you are about to see is of teenage fast food workers describing a normal day for them at work. Hi, my name is Sean Kuharchik and I work at Chick-fil-A in Northville. Um, probably one of the worst experiences I've had is I was taking the payment for a customer and when they come up, um, well, first when they order, the person who takes their order should tell them how much they owe so they know what to pay when they come to me so I can take their payment. Um, I tell this guy his total and he says he doesn't have the money. So I don't know what to do. I tell him maybe see if he can get some transfer to his account, maybe see if anyone else in the car has money. And I was just trying to help him. And at the end, he literally just ended up spitting at me. And at Chick-fil-A, you can't really drive off because you're stuck in the line. So he just rolled up his window and stared at me while he sat there. So I, I, I don't know who raises these people or where they come from, but that that's definitely one of the worst experiences I've had working fast food. All right, where to begin? Um, one time this lady called me uneducated because I was explaining to her the math on how many sauces that we were allowed to give her at my restaurant. And um, she did not realize that the numbers added up correctly. She didn't do the math right herself. And she called me stupid and uneducated. And then another time this lady told me that I ruined her day because I couldn't give her a free cookie for her weight. And then another time, this man called me a dumb ASS, put the words together yourself, because um, I could not take back his beverages because of COVID, because we aren't allowed to do that. And he said that that was the dumbest thing he'd ever heard, and now I was a thank you. Oh, and many more, many more, Th hundreds more stories, but that's the bulk of it. And it sucks, but... My name's Jay Crawford. I currently don't work in fast food, but I've seen some things that have been questionable. Uh, one time I was at a McDonald's in Northville, and it was a busy day, so they were a little bit behind. And one of the workers got cussed out by a guy because she was unable to take their order and he wouldn't use the kiosk. So, yeah. So there is this one time I was taking orders outside and this one lady pulls forward and I was like, hi, welcome to Chick-fil-A. Can I, how can I serve you today? She was like, I don't really know what I want. Do you have a menu? And I was like, unfortunately, I do not have a menu, but I can give you a rundown of what we have or you can go online and look up the menu that way. Um, she tried to go online and she couldn't, it wouldn't load. So instead of like asking me what we had or anything she immediately went off and started yelling at me and was like i don't get how this fast food restaurant is called fast food when you have such a long line you guys should have menus you should blah blah, blah. and i was like i'm really sorry she's blaming me for all these i was like ma'am i'm sorry but there's nothing i can do for you right now and i was like can i have can i have you pull forward with me she screams no and so i immediately turned to my coworker and i was like do we have any menu that I can give her? And so I showed her the menu and I was like, ma'am, can you pull forward with me so I can show you the menu in the light? So she's still very, very mad at me. And she's like, fine, whatever. So she pulls forward. And then at the end of taking order, she's kind of calmed down throughout it all. She looks at me dead in the eyes and she goes, I'm sorry for acting such a mean me, I guess. I'm sorry for being so rude to you, but you guys, you were so nice. You handled it so well. Uh, so I was at a McDonald's and I was like behind this guy at a drive through and I was hearing his conversations. He was yelling and like he either put in the wrong order or the restaurant messed it up. And they told him to, they can make him the same, the way he wanted, but he just had to pull through his food for a little bit. And he got really pissed and started yelling and threw his food that he did got, get at the person in the window. Got all over them. Chick fil A is definitely a difficult job, especially considering it's just the fast food industry. Um, we're faced with a lot of hate, especially from front of house, um, from customers and guests every single day. Uh, one of my experiences, my first um, bad, bad experience was the lady was missing a fry from June and she came back in October for it. 
and my manager told me I couldn't give her a fry and um, she started to cuss me out, called me some very mean things, called me a stupid kid, said I didn't know what I was doing. It was the first time I ever cried on the job. Um, there's just been numerous experiences where that's happened and it can be it can be a pretty tough job at times so but we pushed through it we pushed through. Well, one time we i was working at window and it was one of my first days actually and i was working with our manager and this lady came through and she had ordered a medium drink and it said on her bill medium and like we checked with the person that took her order and it was definitely medium and she wanted a large and she was really upset so we offered like she could buy another one or something like that and she got really upset and started like yelling and screaming and crying and she had like two toddlers in the back of her car while she was screaming like full-on screaming at us and she then proceeded to get out of her car and grab her phone and start taking pictures of our name tags to report us which doesn't really make sense because our manager was right there and our manager suddenly just like was like everybody take your name tags off and we all took them off and he shut the window and he got her like whatever she wanted and then he basically told her like you can't talk to us that way like we will serve you but if you're going to talk to us that way we won't serve you and she was really mad and she drove off crying and yeah all right and last but not least I am the director of this whole thing. My name is Riley Kozel. I too work at Chick-fil-A and this is my experience of dealing with customers and guests who weren't so nice. Um, my first story would probably be one that people still talk about. Um, it was on my second day and there was a, I'd say about 19 or 20 year old man who continuously came through the line with his friends and they would keep coming in different vehicles and each time they came through they would ask me a bunch of random questions um like how old I was if I was still in school if I had a boyfriend just uh, just weird things um I didn't really think anything of it up until um they became like the questions became a little bit more like aggressive towards me and I won't get into that much but the last time they came through the line, I had actually clocked out of my shift. It was about 6 o'clock um, in the summer. So it's still daylight out. And they were in line. And like said in a previous video before, when you're in the Chick-fil-A line, your car can't really go anywhere. You are stuck for the duration you are in the line. And the man who was in the passenger seat, and I was walking to my vehicle with another coworker. I um, had a buddy system at that time. And the man came, ran out of his car, ran towards me, and grabbed me. Um, mind you, this is during COVID. And he was not wearing a mask. Um, but my owner solved the problem, and a police report was filed. But that honestly was really scary. And I don't really want that to ever happen again. Uh, <clears throat> that story doesn't really have anything to do with them being rude that was obviously just a really scary experience but I felt that needed to be shared um my second story that I'll be sharing today will be I was taking this gentleman's order and it was he was an older gentleman I was taking his order and everything was done read it back everything was correct um from what he told me was correct and I proceeded to walk away because we're in fast food, we have to make sure the line's moving, we have to continue to take orders. So I was walking away to go take the next car's order when as soon as I turned around, he actually grabbed my ponytail thinking that would get my attention. Um, needless to say, it got my attention, it actually really hurt. Um, but please don't do that to anyone, don't grab their, if you, or don't snap at them, don't grab them. If you need um someone's help or you have a question just simply like wave a hand or yell for us we really don't mind just it, even without the pandemic going on please just don't grab us or pull on our hair um and that's really all I have to say uh to conclude this documentary this I feel like should be something that could actually be made to be a legit documentary for the world to see of how the behind the scenes of how fast food people get treated 
in every day. This is an everyday occurrence for all of us that helped me in making this documentary. And even for those that aren't in fast food that witness this, this is something that can be stopped. People just need to treat people with kindness and be respectful of others. Thank you for watching.